Hey guys, today I have the easiest, yummiest, and healthiest recipe ever for you guys. So if you're not into the food recipe type thing, then you can go ahead and click out of this video right now. Although, I'm pretty sure you're going to want to stay for this. Anyway, I just got home from the gym, which is why I kind of look like a mess. Yes, I literally just got out of my car and came into my kitchen because I'm going to show you how I make my post-workout green smoothie. And the reason I have this after I work out is because one, it gives me a lot of energy and you probably need that after you work out. It has a lot of nutrients, has a lot of vitamin C, it helps keep your immune system up and going, and proteins and vitamins, and it's good for you. Enough said. So, before I keep talking, I'm just going to get right into it. Okay, I just picked up the camera because I figured you guys could see it better this way. Okay, so you're just going to need a blender, obviously, and some plain fat-free Greek yogurt. The reason I choose plain fat-free and Greek is because one, Greek yogurt has way more protein than just regular yogurt and also it's fat-free and then plain doesn't have all that unnecessary sugar and all those bad things that you don't need that artificially sweetened and artificially flavored yogurts normally have. Okay, so number one. And then you're going to need some spinach. You don't necessarily need the same spinach that I have. If you can get organic, even better. You're also going to need a medium to large banana and a large orange and then I also have some honey because I like my smoothie a little bit sweeter than usual if you don't like sweet things you can go ahead and leave this out because the banana is already sweet enough and you're also gonna need where's my ice I got some ice and I got some water to help blend everything together but if you don't it's just a little tiny bit of water literally if you don't want to add water you can go ahead and add some milk or some almond milk or soy milk whichever floats your boat. I don't even know if I'm in the shot because this camera is kind of crappy, but my other camera's audio wasn't working properly, so I thought I'd have a little bit less quality but good audio so everyone could understand what I was doing. Okay, so before I keep talking, I'm just going to get started. Whoa! Make sure everything is clean. Make sure your hands are clean because, especially if you just came out of the gym like I did, gym machines aren't the cleanest things on the planet so make sure your hands are clean anyway i'm just going to peel the banana and add it in literally just add everything into your blender and you're just going to peel the orange please don't place your whole orange into the blender that's not going to taste very good i promise did you know that spinach is super healthy for you i mean especially all dark green vegetables but i especially love spinach because you can literally just throw it into a smoothie and you won't notice you can also add any other veggies that you have at hand. I mean, you could add some kale. I really like kale, but I don't have any kale. I don't know why I can't find kale in my supermarkets lately. But yeah, so this is basically my staple smoothie. Okay, well, this orange took a long time to peel, but <laughs> I nailed it. It doesn't even matter. You can just throw it in whole, or you can chop it in half, or in fourths to help the blender process it better. But I'm too lazy to do that, so I'm just going to do that and add your spinach. I would normally add a cup. I'm not going to measure it though, so I just take a big fat handful. I take two cups. But if you're not a big fan of green veggies, then, you know, start slow. And now for the fun part. Just kidding, every part is fun, I guess, if you like making food <laughs> or smoothies. I love smoothies. Anyway, now I'm going to add my yogurt. So I'm just going to scoop up like two tablespoons. There goes one, and there goes the second. That's a little bit more. But yeah, what do we have until now? We have one banana, one orange, two cups or one cup of spinach, depending on what you like, and then two tablespoons of your Greek yogurt. Yum! This is also to taste. I would usually add around one teaspoon or one tablespoon. So just go ahead and add that, depending on how much honey you want in your smoothie. I'm just going to add in approximately one cup of ice, and then a little bit of water to get the gears going. Just a little bit. Come on, come with me. Now you're just going to start blending this baby. Okay, so I obviously didn't add enough water. Hence, I said add approximately two tablespoons of water. But if you need more, or milk, whatever you're adding in, you definitely should add that in before proceeding because your blender is just going to burn up. And after you've pureed it enough so that you can't see any pieces of green leaves in there, you're basically done. So let's try this baby out. Does not that look amazing? 
mm, out and you find that it's not sweet enough that it's not creamy enough you can always go in and add more honey or more yogurt or instead of using water like I did you could use milk and that will make it creamier so that just depends on your taste anyways this is really good so I'm just gonna go finish it because I was craving this so bad anyway thank you for watching and click the thumbs up if you found this video helpful and be sure to let me know if you like my recipe videos and if you want me to make more take care guys Mwah. I send a million kisses your way and have a good week wait it's Wednesday so have a good rest of the week bye guys